How's it going guys? My name is Chowder and welcome back to Broken Age. Hoping I know I know what to do this time. Okay, Alright. Alright, uh... right, let's go. So I need to find something to cut his face. His beautiful face. Hold on, 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 hold on. Alright. What do we got here? So... Oh, hello. You using this axe? Not until those trees stop talking. Okay then. Oh, uh, okay. Got an axe. Not... Yeah. Um, nothing here. That thing is here. What if I throw a fruit? I don't think fruit would help. No way. They're just my son. Nah, that doesn't need a new son. That's not a good place to hang a ladder. Hello. Hi. Esther. Hey, Bella. Hmm. Have you always talked to trees, Curtis? Uh, fix my no. Cameras. I've only started talking recently. Beautiful. How can I cut down trees when they're screaming? <clears throat> uh, maybe you shouldn't cut down trees. Maybe you shouldn't cut down trees then. But I'm a woodworker. If I can't cut down trees, where will <coughs> I get my wood? What are they screaming at Good morning. you? Morning. All kinds of really personal insults, like really over the line type stuff. It's been rough, but the worst part is not having any wood to build stuff with. I like wood. Uh, can you make me some? So you're a woodworker. <laughs> Could you make me something? Like what? Uh. A weapon to kill Malchathra? That dude is a bummer. <laughs> but I don't think I could make something that powerful. How about a nice three-legged stool? Hmm. Yeah. I haven't done a stool in so long. I, uh, sure, make me a stool. Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. Uh... Listen, about that big mess upstairs. Oh, hmm. did another tree fall on my roof? Um... No, I fell out of the clouds and crashed into it a little. That's cool. I needed a little fresh air in here anyway. <laughs> Been kind of cooped up for too long, you know? Right. Cool. Hey, about this art. Yeah? Can I have it? Can I have it? No way, man. That thing's vintage. Oh, okay. Where'd you get it? Where'd you get it? I bought it from this slightly shady girl from Shell Mound. Said she was selling it to get money to move out of town. Huh. Uh, I like how it matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. The purpose of art is not decor, man. <laughs> Why do you have it up then? I only had it up there ironically, <laughs> but I was actually getting sick of it. <clears throat> if you like it, just take it. Okay. Really? Okay. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. Uh, just get it then. Okay, I'm taking this. Cool. I liked that kind of stuff when I was your age, too. <laughs> Alright, we got a lot of shit with us. Did I check the mailbox before? Probably not. And what do we got here? Hmm. This guy hasn't gotten mail in a while. Okay. Just gonna assume. That's it. <clears throat> Alright, um, let's see what we got here. Hello, Mr. Trey. I'll, I'll cut your mouth. I have a feeling I might regret <laughs> this. Oh, oh, murderer! Axe wielding psychopath! Right here! Shh, shh, shh. You'll wake up the other trees. She's got an axe! Run! <laughs> She's a murderer! Okay, look. I'm getting rid of the axe, okay? Just stop screaming, please! But I need the axe! Ow! My trunk! I'm losing sap! Murderer! <laughs> I, uh... Hmm. 
I'm here on <coughs> behalf of Curtis, the lumberjack. That homicidal psychopath? I once saw him hack an old lady to death. Wow. Okay. Really? Yes. A 300 year old spruce mining her own branches, then he comes along. The tree ponds. Oh, God, if I had <coughs> to see her, I might be sick. Uh. Say it. What did Curtis do to the old spruce? He. He butchered her. Turned her into a. a stool. <laughs> no. Oh, God. I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Oh, okay. Uh. You got a little something in the yeah. corner of your mouth. Oh, that's just a little sap. I'm not ashamed. It's thick and natural, and I'm full of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you full of sap. <laughs> hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. You want to bleed us dry, steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. I... You humans make me want to throw up. But I won't do it, because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my son. Alright, now I need to make him throw up, that's fine. Why are you so upset? I just can't stand <laughs> by in silence while you murderous humans mutilate my brethren! It makes me sick! I've never seen a talking tree before. Well, I've seen plenty of axe-wielding murderous humans, so get lost. Aww. Don't scream. Please don't scream anymore. You can't silence me! I'm going to wake <coughs> up this whole forest! Are you magic? Are you magic? Can you help me kill Magchatra? Is that all you humans think about <coughs> killing? <laughs> you all make me want to puke. I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul, rootless stuff. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, can I? I'll let you get back. I'll let you get back to your screen. I know, and I need to. One. Want some fruit? The sweet flesh you tore down from the arms of its mother? Oh. No, thank you. Also, that fruit has a big pit that's kind of a pain to deal with. Oh, I get it, like, children. Alright, let's see what we got here. Can I climb him? I've got a ladder in my pocket. Bet that will make you barf for sure. Is it from Meriloft? They only use naturally fallen branches collected by their birds. See? It's possible to live in harmony with nature, you barbarian. Dang. Uh, uh, how about some of these? I've got a ladder. I, 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 I did that one. I've got some art that might make you sick. Is it made of wood? Actually, I've never seen this material before. Then I doubt it would make me as sick as the horrors <coughs> made by your lumberjack friend. All right. Uh, want some shoe? Have you ever seen cloud shoes? They're bent twigs, wrapped in feathers. Well, the twigs might have fallen mm. off naturally, so that's not gonna be... Uh, some of these? Look, he also makes nice things that aren't wood. Crystals have feelings too. <laughs> okay. Can we get the axe back? Let's see, where's the axe? Oh, hello. Wait, is this east? West? Ah, oh, shit, what the fuck? Oh, boy. I think this was a beautiful snake. If it weren't killing me. This is t I think this was a beautiful snake. If it weren't killing me. I can't use my thought. I can't use I can't use my hand. I don't want to die this way. I can't use my hand. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I ain't going okay, there again. so do not go that way. Got it. Cool. Let's find some woody stuff. Let's see what we got here. Uh, fishing pole. Oh crap, what the heck? Excuse me, uh, yeah. Mayor? What? Mayor? Why did you say that? 
Uh, you should be a mayor. Because you should be a mayor. Young lady, <laughs> I like the way you think. But alas, mm. I am merely Maiden's Feast Marshal Dune, a humble man of the people. Right, cool. For now. For now. Uh. Yeah. Hmm. When is Mark Chakra supposed to get here? Uh. Any minute. So much to do. <laughs> about that bucket hat. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? It. Can I please? Have... Can I please have it? I like your manners, <coughs> but I like my hat more. <laughs> uh, about your bucket. Hey, about. It looks great on you. It looks great on you. Very fancy. What? Fancy? But I'm a man. I'm a man of the people. I'm never going to win this election if I come off as haughty and elite. <laughs> Here, take this away from me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, child. I thought I was supposed to insult. I'm firing my stylist tomorrow. All right. Uh, need to... I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Child, at this point, we may not even have a Maiden's Feast. <laughs> not that you have the right scent for it <laughs> anyway. Uh... So you're saying I smell bad? Are you bad. saying I smell bad? No, heavens no, <laughs> child. You smell like birthday cake and fluffy clouds. <laughs> with a hint of fresh pine. Ooh, and a dangerous undernote of snake, I believe. A very nice. But that's just not the sort of aroma that... I, um... Better let you get back. I, uh... Marshall, no, you... God damn it! Get... Better let you get back. Uh, yeah, what the hell? Looking at this chum trough makes me really happy I grew up in a baking town instead of a fishing town. What? These fishing poles are useless. All the hooks have been stolen. Uh. Hi, you maidens getting ready for the maidens feast? <laughs> uh... Hey, can I have some of that perfume? <laughs> That's not perfume. What is that then? That's a proprietary luring <coughs> compound known as Beast Hook. Right. It's irresistible to Mox. Then. Can I have some of your hey, Beast Hey, can I have some of your Beast Hooker? That's better. But no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's her secret sauce. <laughs> nice costume. Nice costumes. <clears throat> Thanks. Our dads made them. They're the best fishermen in the village, so they're pretty good at tying lures. Right. We had to use every hook in town, but it was worth it. Then, uh... Isn't somebody gonna miss those hooks? Not as much as they're gonna miss us. Ooh. You're gonna make me cry, girl. Uh... You... I just want... How about just one little squirt? Sorry, if I'm okay, not... Okay, fine, I can... Hey, maidens, I'm going to kill Mog Chathra. Huh, <laughs> not half as hard as I'm gonna kill it. I'm already killing it in this Oh, outfit. I get it. Just stand <laughs> here. God dang it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See you, maidens? God damn it. Okay, I'll see you, butt up here. What the hell? Uh, hello there. A sighted stranger approaches. Hello. Not so fast. <laughs> Darn. All out of holy tear gas. Use the staff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hulk. The dead eye god. Uh, who are you two? Who are you two? I am Dead Eye Dawn. And this is Dead Eye Courtney. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Uh,. What is this place? The Dead Eye Pyramid. Cool. Tomb Illuminati. of the Dead Eye God. <laughs> As if you didn't know. Uh, who is he? Who's the Dead Eye God? The Messiah from the sky. Bringer of miracle objects. Hmm. Someday he will rise to return our sight and begin the Battle of Volgantol. Okay. Uh 
Did your god bring any miracle objects that were like weapons? The kind that could take down a giant monster? Our god had such power hmm. and more. Probably. I mean, really. Probably. I don't even know what half the stuff in there does. Uh. Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? Uh, I don't know. Kind of cold out there, because yeah, Guardian must be cool. Because I don't it's really kind of cold out her. here. The Dead Eye Pyramid provides sanctuary only for the Dead Eye God and his devoted followers. Oh. Okay. When we're on a break, but no one enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. No one. Well, oh, unless what? Well, yeah. if she could solve the. Re okay. Uh. Um, could you remind oh, me how the riddle of yarn goes sorry. one more time? You always take us down when we are in our prime. Devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed, up from a hidden pit long after I am dead. Whoa. Huh. Yeah. Bring us a solution, and you may... Alright, uh... Bye! <laughs> Alright. Sense you later. Right. Sense. Alright, um, I think I got it. This... Check it out! Fruit! No thanks! These... Alright, fine. Hey, you guys uh, wanna see art? some cool art? Still blind. <clears throat> Same here. Oh. You guys uh, think the dead this? eye god would like some stained glass? Why don't you ask him? Because I cannot go inside. I don't think I could fit either one, one of them in my bucket. Uh, okay. Just gonna leave there. Hmm. Alright, we got some information here. Need some hook. I feel like I shouldn't do that. So, we need some wood. And none of these are. We have one like that wood, back home. For se. making upside down cakes. Oh, look, a lot. Driftwood. So smooth. Oh, perfect. Alright, let, let's get some, 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 some. Hey. Found some driftwood down by the beach. That's morbid. Not, at least it's <laughs> natural and hasn't been perverted by you humans. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, I can make a stool out of it, I think. Let's see, give it to them. Need some wood. Need some wood. Check it out. Non talking wood. Oh, and yeah. it's so smooth. Oh, man. My butt cheeks. I feel a stool <laughs> coming on. What? Oh. Uh, uh. Whew. That's a relief. Uh. Beautiful. Tell me about it. Wow. I feel ten times better. Thanks for helping me get that out of my system. I want you to have it's okay, bro. Really? Oh, ah, thank thanks. Thanks. No problem. Thank I like you. to spread my samples around. <laughs> I've got that stool. Beautiful. And we're gonna go back to the tree. Show him the stool. He bought me some sap, and I have no idea what to do with it. <laughs> right, let's see what we got. Okay, well, <clears throat> my, my camera ran out of battery, I mean, not battery, uh, memory, there we go, and then put some, some bucket there. Oh, and now you're decorating me like a Christmas tree? <laughs> Is there no end to the humiliation? <laughs> Need some sap, I think, uh, so, bucket. Sorry to do this to you, but... Oh my god, is that <laughs> mutilated tree flesh? You see, what Curtis does is he peels off the <laughs> outer layer of the wood to get to the tender stuff inside. <laughs> then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath before he begins the deep 
carving. Uh. Oh, sorry, did that upset you? You monster! I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I got some sap. Alright, well, we got we got some progress here. So uh, that's it for this video, guy. Yeah. And uh, I hope you like it. If you like it, leave a like, subscribe, make videos every single other day, and stay fantastic, guy. Uh.